In recent weeks, reports have emerged from within the U.S. aerospace industry that have drawn the attention of many military analysts around the world. While everyone assumed that America's sixth-generation bomber project was progressing quietly, satellite images and unofficial reports tell a different story. What has become clear is that the United States does not have just one test prototype, but is simultaneously building multiple units of this advanced aircraft. Such a production scale has rarely been seen in previous military programs, and for many, it signals a shift in the balance of air superiority. The first signs of unusual activity were observed at an industrial site in California, a location where famous bombers of past decades were once built. Heavy employee movement, complete enclosure of the premises, and new security structures all indicated that a highly sensitive project was underway. Sources familiar with the matter say this aircraft is built on advanced digital engineering technologies, so that before its first flight, a fully virtual version was tested. This approach allows many technical issues to be resolved before entering the real phase, dramatically reducing production time. Unlike older projects that were limited by astronomical costs, this program was designed from the outset for mass production. Assembly plants use precision robots and augmented reality for training and assembly, ensuring each part is installed with minimal error and maximum accuracy. One of the aircraft's most notable features is its open architecture systems. This means sensors, weapons, and defensive systems can be added without redesigning the aircraft. Such flexibility ensures an exceptionally long operational life, allowing it to counter threats that do not even exist today. Official sources have remained silent on the aircraft's range and payload capacity, but analysts believe its capabilities are at least on par with the previous generation. This implies the ability to reach any point on the globe without aerial refueling and to carry a wide range of precision and strategic munitions. The major difference between this project and earlier generations lies in maintenance and readiness. Previous models required lengthy and costly overhauls, but this new aircraft is designed to remain operational on a daily basis, ready for its next mission in minimal time. Beyond offensive missions, this aircraft plays a significant intelligence role. With advanced sensors, it can monitor enemy communications, relay battlefield data to commanders in real time, and even turn the tide of a battle without firing a single shot. Some military experts believe this project fills the U.S. bomber capability gap. A large portion of America's bomber fleet dates back decades, and this new model could become the backbone of the Air Force, especially in simultaneous scenarios in Europe and Asia. It is said that the number of units under construction far exceeds initial estimates, indicating America's determination to expand deterrence capacity. Some research centers have even projected a need for as many as 300 units to enable simultaneous operations on two major fronts. The test flight of the second unit marks a critical step toward mass production. This flight not only confirms the performance of the systems, but also demonstrates that the production line can build fully identical versions, which is essential for maintaining quality and operational reliability. Air bases designated to host the aircraft are building special maintenance and security facilities. These include intrusion-resistant hangars, specialized repair centers, and advanced protection systems, ensuring the aircraft's complete security. Crew training is also a key part of the program. Pilots must operate systems more complex than any previous model, which means long training periods and advanced simulators, covering a wide range of new tactics. In industrial terms, 
This project is considered a national achievement for the U.S. engineers, and workers in 40 states are involved in producing its parts, creating thousands of specialized jobs in the process and strengthening advanced manufacturing infrastructure. The key point is that this project is not just a weapon, but a symbol of America's engineering capabilities and management of massive projects. Such capacity cannot easily be replicated in other countries as it requires experience, investment, and a vast industrial network. Many U.S. allies have shown interest in the project, but exporting or sharing its technology abroad seems unlikely. Maintaining technological superiority is a core principle of the country's defense policy, and transferring it could alter the balance of power. From a deterrence perspective, the presence of such a bomber complicates enemy calculations. Knowing that this aircraft could reach deep into enemy territory at any moment, with minimal warning, is in itself a deterrent against many threats. The development of this project also sends a clear message to rivals. It shows that America's industrial and technological power remains active and that in the face of threats, it does not rely on rhetoric alone, but takes practical, large-scale action. Of course, the costs and risks of such a project are very high, but the strategic view is that air superiority is the most important element in deterrence and victory, and must be invested in to maintain. Despite strict secrecy, scattered information about the project's progress continues to surface, and this is enough to excite enthusiasts and analysts alike. Every new image or report sparks a wave of speculation and fuels extensive debate in military circles. The experience from this project could serve as a model for future programs, from next-generation fighters to advanced drones. The production infrastructure, workforce skills, and management methods are all assets that will remain valuable in the future. This stealth aircraft stands as a symbol of innovation, teamwork, and meticulous planning on a national scale. Such a project shows that advanced technology is only possible through the synergy of industry, government, and individual expertise. Right now, all eyes are on the flight of the second prototype, a flight that could define the program's future path. Every success at this stage builds greater confidence and marks another step toward operational deployment. The story of this project is still being written, and each new chapter offers a clear vision of the U.S. Air Force's future. If this pace and precision continue, the world will witness a new generation of air superiority.